Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to take a look at and also show you how to install Ubuntu Budgie 21.04 on your Raspberry Pi 4. The final version of Ubuntu Budgie 21.04 has just been released for the Raspberry Pi 4 and it's amazing. When you first boot up the Pi, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen that you can go through. So browser ballot where you can snap install a couple of different browsers like Chromium, Firefox, Midori, Gnome Web and Ephemeral. In addition to the pre-installed Firefox browser, I'm going to go with Chromium. Then there's customization where you have the budgie desktop settings. Here you can basically alter the entire appearance like the style with icons, cursors, themes, animations and so on. Then you also have desktop settings, fonts, Raven, Windows and top panel. There's just so much you can do. Then we've got the normal settings as well, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, notifications, basic app settings and so on. Next up there's also a list of keyboard shortcuts. updates and extras, drivers, language and input, optional tasks, and system specifications. So as you can see, I'm running 64-bit Budgie on my Pi 4 with 4GB of RAM and it's not overclocked. I'm probably going to do that later. Then I can also check my disk usage to see how much space I have left. Apart from that, there's also a tweak tool with layout options, Overclocking options which is always great in time saving and even shows you your Pi CPU temperature. I'm quickly going to select the 2GHz overclock. Next we have remote settings like VNC, SSH, XRDP sharing and a cool little feature called Find My Pi Server that allows you to find other Pi servers on your network. We also have display options and GPU memory options. By the way, on the Ubuntu Budgie website they mentioned that KMS is actually the recommended video mode, so I'm going to stick with it for now. Lastly, you can also tick or untick this box if you want the tweak tool to start right after logging in. Now let's have a quick look at the desktop. So up here we have different desktop screens, quick notes, quick file management options, notifications, internet settings, audio options, Bluetooth, and the usual power options as well. On the left side there's also a list of all of your apps with a handy search function. Overall I'm loving all of the optimization and the entire feel of the OS, especially the time and date widget down here and all of the icons. At the very bottom you can also find a couple of apps like the software store, Rhythmbox, LibreOffice and the file manager. Now I'm quickly going to reboot my Pi for the overclocking options to be applied and then I'm going to test out the video playback. Ok, I rebooted my Pi and now I'm going to test out the video playback in the Firefox browser. By the way, the Firefox browser feels incredibly snappy. Okay, now 720p doesn't seem to work very well at first because of my internet, but I found that after about 20 to 30 seconds the stuttering stops and the video playback in 720p ends up being pretty decent. As you can see, the playback does actually get a lot better. Now I'm going to have a look at how well it handles 1080p.
Like I thought, 1080p isn't great at all and doesn't get much better either. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to get Ubuntu Budgie 21.04 up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. First of all, you're going to have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the official website, where you can also just have a look at the release notes. Here, head to Downloads, Ubuntu Budgie for the Pi and click on Direct Download. Then select the top file over here. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, simply open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you're going to be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. As you can see the Pi has successfully booted up and you can now start using Ubuntu Budgie 21.04. Like I said earlier, I'm truly impressed with Ubuntu Budgie. It's incredibly well optimized for the Pi 4 and I absolutely love it and I'm sure you will too after trying it out. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.